I'm just finishing up the last part of uh, the monthly call that I'm going to offer online called Feel Your Deepest Longing, Find Your Spiritual Calling. And that's exactly what I've been talking about uh, the last week or so, right? So it's just coming out more and more. And, and that's basically all that's been going on. And then I've been spending a lot of time getting all the technical stuff, you know, to send it out and all the emails and whatever. So I'm almost there. And I just want to let you know that if you're interested in joining, which of course, I hope that you are, uh, there is a link in the description box uh, that you can go to and read a little more about it. And if you are interested, please sign up and join us. It's going to be once a month on a Tuesday morning. And I'm going to start out doing it by donation, as I have talked about before. I want to make sure that anybody can join in this. And then I'll just see how it works out down the line. But the reason that I'm offering this is because, of course, it's my own process, right? I'm not going to talk about somebody else's process. So it's been very, very close to my heart, this fully, fully surrendering. And it, it's it's been going on for years. But when I got hacked, most of my crypto got hacked, uh, I think it's about two years ago now. That was a little bit of a wake-up call where I realized how much I was still holding on to the world for safety, for all these things that we all do. There was nothing new about it. But it was... As I was in my surrendering and letting go process, it seems like that was just the next step for me to let go of. And that's been my process to unhook from having faith in this world and bringing it back to where it belongs and where everything calls, comes from and expresses itself from through us and as us. So then it became obvious more and more that this is really my message. This is really what I'm here for. This is really my calling to bring forth to help others get in touch with their calling, with your calling, and then move through the layers that keep holding us back, that basically keep pulling us out, thinking we need to find our safety and our success and our fulfillment and our financial, you know, um, success all out there so we can feel safe and so that we can survive, right? This is all part of the matrix. And we can't see it as long as we function out there primarily. Of course, we function out there. We have to, right? We have a physical body. We have a physical life. But it's an extension and an expression of who we really are. So if we cut ourselves off from that, well, good luck. And you may know what I'm talking about. But then when we do start turning inside and we do start feeling this deep longing for something better, for something different, for something more relaxed and fulfilling, there is still the tendency to keep cutting it off and not listening to it. And then on we go, you know, on our little a hamster wheel out in the world trying to make a life and be happy. It's fine. This is part of the matrix, what we have been pulled into for a very, very long time. So there's absolutely no judgment around any of that. But there is an invitation to stop touching it. How many times have I said that? And how many times have I told myself this? Like, Prinella, don't touch it. It's like, oh, yeah, don't touch it. I'm like, oh, don't touch it. And then it's been getting easier and easier. And even though sometimes the emotions want to touch it, I can be present with those emotions so that I'm holding them as opposed to they have a grip on me. And that's where a lot of the changes happen when our attachment 
to the world through our emotions, that's what keeps us there. So that's where a lot of the work is. But then when we start feeling that deeper longing, which is so, so sweet and so, so real, and we, we have to stop ignoring it. Once, once you stop ignoring it and pay attention to it, it makes no sense to ever ignore it again. And then you might feel more uh, ignited to get to know it more and deeper and how you can open up to it more and really make yourself available to it. And then see what happens. We don't know. I don't know where any of this is going, but I know one thing. And that is that there is a movement and a flow and an inspiration and energy that ignites me to move in that direction. So, you know, when you do this, there's no compass to go by except that inner feeling, inspiration, uh, expansion. It's very much also a sense of yes, or no, it's like an expanding, like, oh yeah, that that feels right. That that I can move with. Or there's clearly like, no, there's no energy here. I, I, I don't feel anything that wants to go in that direction. And that is what we all need to learn to trust that and get to get to know that language of our soul. So that is definitely what we will spend time doing. And of course, I would love for you to join me. And I would say the more of us really surrender to the divine, I would think that we can create a, a nice shift in energies because we are shifting our own, right? We're letting go of the old paradigm of limitation, duality, war, um, all the things we don't want, lack, disease, and we start placing our attention, we start abiding in this beautiful place. And then we just have to learn to trust and see what happens next. Sometimes not much happens for a while. I've been there and it can be very frustrating, but I know that when there is more of us together <clears throat> and we can share that, then you go, oh, well, if you're experiencing that and, you know, and you, you're you still having you know, made it to here where you feel more relaxed about it, maybe I can relax more in this place where I don't know really what the hmm is going on and just wait and see. And just in that, we do relax more. <clears throat> we open up more. And then we'll see what happens. So that's my little story for the day. Um, please check out uh, that um, description, that link you can click on in, in the description below. And uh, yeah, we're starting uh, next Tuesday, which is uh, July the 2nd. We start at 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Savings Time. And uh, I hope to see you there. Okay, my friends, have a wonderful day.